Welcome back, everyone, and I'm here again with SBR contributor Jeff Grant. And today we're going to be looking at that Thursday night football game between the Indianapolis Colts and the Houston Texans. How are you doing today, Jeff? Doing great, Dax. Always great to talk football with you, especially a Thursday night broadcast. These have been lopsided games, but I think we're going to have a good one with this one being a division rivalry. Yep, no doubt, my man. Well, the Colts, they started out the season 0-2, which is pretty understandable considering that they opened up against the Broncos at mile high, and then they lost a really close game uh, to the Eagles in week two. But then they finally got back on track and now have won three in a row so far. A lot has to do with the fact that two of their three games were pretty easy with the exception of that last one against the Ravens. But what else has changed for the Colts in recent weeks to actually get them to turn around this start of the season? I mean, is it all thanks to their passing game? I think you pretty much covered it, Dax, in the <laughs> fact that the, the competition level has grown lesser as the season has gone on. Uh, the Texans aren't exactly the biggest step up from the previous three opponents that they faced, but it's always tough to go on the road on a shortened week against a division opponent. So I think Indianapolis is going to have its hands full. All right, so it was the end of an era with Gary Kubiak's uh, era actually coming to an end after seven long years. And now the team is uh, under Bill O'Brien as their head coach. And so far, the Texans have actually won their first two home games of the season under his tutelage. Now, granted, those wins were against the Redskins in Week 1 and E.J. Manuel's Bills in Week 4 before Kyle Orton actually took the starting job for Buffalo. Now, right now, they are 3-2 and two overall, and considering that they will be playing at home this Thursday, do you actually see them protecting their home field enough to actually move their record up to 4-2? and two? Home wins are home wins in the NFL, Dax. It doesn't really matter who you play, mm -hmm. especially when you have a first-year head coach. It's even more impressive that you're able to do that. Houston, 3-2 and two straight up, 4-1 and one against the spread. To fight the, uh, despite the fact that it's been outgained in all five games. So as this team continues to learn under first-year head coach Bill O'Brien, I think you're going to see improvement from the Texans. And you got to remember, O'Brien is used to this type of challenge as he turned around Penn State's program, and he's used to the NFL grind as a previous offensive coordinator of the New England Patriots. All right, my man. So now Andrew Luck is pretty much on his way to breaking the 5,000 passing yard mark and 50 TDs if this season if he actually continues to put up the kind of numbers that he's doing. I think right now he's got about 1,600 yards and about 14 touchdowns. But besides this, the team is also leading the league in time of possession. Now, how important is that last stat for this team heading into this Thursday night matchup, Jeff? Absolutely pivotal as these quick turnaround games have proven to be blowouts, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that a lot of these players are tired. I uh, just have to mention the fact that Houston's Arian Foster is really the most important player to handicap in trying to keep the ball away from the Colts. And he's had success in this situation, even though he came out over the weekend and said that Thursday games are annoying. Expect the media to focus on that quote, but they really should focus on the fact that he is second in the NFL and averaging 101 rushing yards a season. And in three Thursday night games in his career, He's averaged 5.3 yards per carry, so expect Foster to be able to keep the ball away from an undersized defense of the Colts. Yeah, he was pretty adamant about the whole fact of playing uh, games on Thursday. I mean, he, he really hates it, and he says that a lot of fans actually hate it as well. But anyways, um, what's the lean going to be for this game, my man? You know, it's always difficult to go against Andrew Luck and the Colts in the division situation. They may still win this game by a point or two, but I really like the home underdog here. The home team has grabbed the cash in seven of the last eight meetings in the series. And also, I always love playing a stout defense, and that's what Houston has, especially one that hasn't given up a single point in the first quarter of the season. So I like Houston to get off to a strong start and actually potentially upset the Colts in week six. Well, it's going to be tough for Andrew Luck going up against J.J. Watt, definitely, my man. But as always, it's a pleasure talking football with you, and I look forward to doing it again tomorrow, my man. Thank you. No problem. And for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round. A real time Vegas style odds monitoring service and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.